Hey guys, it's Kay Jones here, and I'm, this video today is going to be on what an Iron Man is in RuneScape and what is Iron Man game mode. So, Old School RuneScape is a replica or kind of brings back the old nostalgic memories of what RuneScape was like in 2007. But the whole thing of Iron Man wasn't actually a thing or a status or type of game mode back in 2007. It's something that they added to the game later on, and in fact, uh, they've added a lot of things to this game that a lot of people are not familiar about. So I'm going to go over the each types of Iron Man and what an Iron Man is overall. Okay guys, this is the original Iron Man symbol, which is a gray symbol, and you'll see it next to my character's name in-game. Basically what this means is that you, everything you do alone, an Iron Man stands alone. You cannot trade other players. You're not capable to do it. If you try, it says you're an Iron Man. You stay alone. You're unable to use the Grand Exchange. And if anyone attacks a monster that you're attacking in RuneScape as if they were to help you kill something, you don't get the drop. Also, that goes the same for tanking. Let's say you're killing a monster and somebody else is tanking it for you. You also don't get the drop. Everything you have to earn on your own. That means if you want planks for construction, you have to chop all the wood make them into planks, and then take them to your house all by yourself. You can't just buy them on the Grand Exchange. Another thing people get uh, try to get away with is to say, oh, it was an Iron Man. If you kill someone PvP, like my, if I kill my main account and it has good gear, I'll get that gear. No, if you kill anyone in PvP, you do not get the gear. Also, another thing that people try to get with is, oh, I'll just sell a Lygian Spirit Shield on my main account in the general store, and I'll buy it off my Iron Man for a cheap price. No, the only thing you can buy from general stores is things that are originally in stock, such as buckets, chisels, knives, etc. And well, someone would think, if I just sell a thousand buckets on my main account, then my Iron Man can buy a thousand buckets. That's not true. You can actually only buy whatever that is in stock originally in the general store. For example, if the general store had ten buckets, but your main account sold a thousand buckets to it, your Iron Man would still be only able to buy ten buckets. Iron Men are also unable to go into player, uh, player made houses and nobody is allowed to come into an Iron Man's player owned house, which stinks because as an Iron Man, you don't get any benefit for someone just visiting your house and it's a very lonely world. But at the same side, everything is so, self, it's so exciting and it feels so self worth because any little drop that you get on the game is incredible because you earned it on your own. Okay guys, so I showed you what a regular Iron Man symbol looks like. There are three types of Iron Man in RuneScape. Regular Iron Man, which I showed and explained. Hardcore Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man. Hardcore Iron Man and Ultimate Iron have the same perks as a regular Iron Man, except that there's a catch. This is the symbol of a Hardcore Iron Man. It's the same as a regular Iron Man, except that it's red. Now, the difference between a Hardcore Iron Man and a regular Iron Man is that a Hardcore Iron Man only has one life. As soon as you die, your red helmet turns back to a gray helmet. Also, you start off on Hardcore Iron Man on a separate high scores, and you continue going up in ranks for as long as you are alive and gaining your skills. As soon as you die on your Hardcore Iron Man, you leave that high score ranking and you go back to the regular Iron Man ranking system. Okay, so I know you guys are probably like, whoa, that's not cool. What if I lag out? I DC a lot on RuneScape. What if I die? Well, if you die because of a disconnection or a lag, you still die and you lose your symbol and your rank and you go back to a regular Iron Man. This is a really popular Reddit post of a hardcore Iron Man dying to a level 2 cow. Yes, you can still die to a level 2 cow. Basically, if you start a hardcore Iron Man, just realize that you're going to die eventually in the game and just try to survive as long as possible. This white helmet symbol is for an ultimate Iron Man. It's the third type of Iron Man that you can play in old school RuneScape. In my opinion, this is by, by far the hardest game mode you can play. Basically, it's the same as a regular Iron Man, except that you have no bank. And that makes it extremely hard because the only way to store items is in your inventory or a looting bag or in your player owned house. Now that being said, the Ultimate Iron Man does have its own high scores and unlike the Hardcore Iron Man, if you die, you still keep your white symbol and your same spot on high scores. 
All right, guys, I hope this video helped y'all understand what an Iron Man is in RuneScape and what you're getting into if you decide to play this game mode. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I do Iron Woman progression videos and updates on my account. I also do Iron Man guides, also in RuneScape gen general guides, and I do a lot of in real life videos as well. Thanks for watching, guys.